everybody, this is Mrs. Sack. Together today we could try making Play-Doh. First we'll need some ingredients. One is all-purpose flour, some salt, vegetable oil, and cream of tartar. If you don't have cream of tartar, you can use baking powder. We're going to use some tools. We have the measuring cups for the dry ingredients. We have measuring cups for the liquid ingredients. And we have some measuring spoons for the other ingredients. Okay, so I started by measuring out a cup of flour. I'm gonna pour it into our bowl. And I measured out a quarter cup of salt. We're gonna put that in our bowl. Now we're going to start stirring it. This helps make sure that all the ingredients are mixed throughout when we're making our Play-Doh because it's all important. We want it all together. So we're going to mix, mix, mix. Next, we're going to add a teaspoon, one teaspoon of vegetable oil. This keeps it moist and prevents it from drying so quickly. Okay, that's one teaspoon of vegetable oil. And again, we're gonna mix, 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 mix. Now, sorry, we're going to add one teaspoon of cream of tartar. If you don't have any available, you can substitute baking powder. And this keeps it, everything, it makes it so that everything will keep it together. Because otherwise, some of these um, ingredients may not stay together. And this wasn't open yet, so I'll open it now. Ha, ah, new one. <laughs> I might need help opening this. Um, let's see, maybe I can open it this way. Oh, I wish I had seen that. Hmm. Somebody in the background is helping me open this. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to keep stirring because I want everything to be mixed well. This way it will come out nice. I think we're just about ready for the cream of tartar. Ah, yay, okay. Now we need a teaspoon of this. So we're gonna use our measuring spoon again. And one teaspoon. That, sometimes it's not exact and that's okay. There we go, one teaspoon of cream of tartar. And we mix that in. Now we, we want to do this before we add the water so that guarantees that everything will be equally distributed. That means it's all mixed together evenly. Okay, now we're going to add a little bit of water. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to mix again. We're just going to keep mixing. And we're going to keep adding the water slowly so we get to the consistency of Play-Doh. So a little bit more. And keep adding it until... And then we 
we're going to start using our hands. So now this is where we get a little bit dirty, but that's okay. Mix it with our hands. This is called kneading the dough. Okay. And if it if it's still a little bit too goopy, after we do that, we can add some more flour. We want it to get to be like Play-Doh. Let's see, this might be all right, because I still have some flour left in here, and it's starting to, it's starting to uh, feel like Play-Doh. gonna work. Yeah, once you have your Play-Doh, there's lots of things we can do with Play-Doh. We can have a lot of fun with Play-Doh. Well, perfect. This is coming out really nice. Not too goopy, but not too dry. Just right. Play-Doh. Now, we can pound it. We can flatten it out. We can roll it. We can make little balls with it. Sometimes, if we make enough of them, we can count them. We can build with them, or we can cut out using cookie cutters. We can cut out shapes. We can pretend we're making cookies. You know, we all like to do that. So I'll, I hope that this has been helpful and I hope you have a lot of fun with your Play-Doh and I'll see you again soon. Bye!